In this problem, we have a 3,200-pound car which is speeding up uniformly up this inclined surface. This word uniformly is very important because it tells us that this car has a constant acceleration along this inclined surface. And if the engine has an efficiency of 0.78, we need to determine the power input in horsepower when the car's speed reaches 60 miles per hour. So, when the car has a speed of 60 miles per hour, we can do a unit conversion, and that equals to 88 foot per second. And we know that the car gains that speed in 30 seconds uniformly, which means that V equals to constant acceleration AC times T. In other words, AC equals to V over T, which is 88 divided by 30 second, and that is 2.93 in the unit of foot per second squared. Now, if we want to determine the power input, we are going to determine first that the power output. And the power output equals to the force, which is actually a frictional force that makes the car move up this incline, multiplied by the speed of the car. So we already know the speed of the car, which is 88 foot per second. Now we need to determine this force. And we need to do a force analysis. So we start with a free body diagram of the car. So the car is subjected to its weight. And we have this force right here that's pulling the car upwards. That's provided by the engine eventually. And also it is subjected to a normal force. So if we draw also the kinetic diagram, the movement is along this direction, along the, the inclined surface with a constant acceleration. And now we're ready to summarize our force along this direction, along this inclined surface, which equals to the force F minus the weight force has two components. So this component right here, this one equals to W times sine 15 degree. And that equals to the kinetic force M times AC. So F minus 3200 times sine 15 degree equals to the mass of the car, 3200 pound divided by 32.2, the gravitational acceleration in the foot uh, second unit system times the constant acceleration of 2.93 foot per second squared. So from here, we only have one uh, unknown in this equation, and that is F, and F can be determined to be 1,100 pound force. And that's the force provided by the engine to pull the car up. From there, we can determine the output power of the engine, which is F times V, which is 1,100 pound times 88 foot per second. This equals to 98,560 pound, actually foot pound per second. And one horsepower equals to 550 foot pound per second. Therefore, from there, we can do the unit conversion and that equals to 179.2 horsepower which equals to the input power times the efficiency. Therefore, the power input equals to P out over epsilon. So that is 179.2 horsepower over 0 0.78, and that is 230 horsepower. And that is the answer to this problem.